Hey babes, it's your girl Kaylee KK here and we are back with another haul video. Um, a couple days ago I made a Target run and I to get some skincare and one or two makeup products and I want to show you guys what I got. As you can see my setup is a bit different because we have moved things around in our bedroom, me and the hubby. Um, background is not plain as I would like it, but this setup does offer me more room for when I want to do my makeup as well as when I'm doing planning and things of that nature. So if you want to see what I got on my last Target run, please stay tuned to this video. Here we go. run it was not that bad i did not break the bank all of my goodies are in here so yeah we didn't do too bad trying to set them right here on my desk and i'm just gonna dig in and show you guys what i got so the first thing is i got some jumbo cotton balls um used this to take off makeup as well as to tone my skin um if I mess up my makeup, I can use these to fix it. Very, very good thing. Taking off fingernail polish and things of that nature. So, these are a must. I always try to make sure that I don't run out of these. The next thing I got is also cotton rounds. Um, these two, like I said, use for removing makeup, fingernail polish, as well as, you know, um, putting toner on the face removing makeup, different things of that nature. Now we're going to get into, I guess I'll do a few makeup items that I got first. Since it was not that neat. First thing I got was just some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, up to five times fuller lashes. So it's volume building, separates and builds lashes. Um, as you guys can see, I don't have any falsies on. It's just real light makeup today. You don't see any lashes. My lashes are very short and very thin, so volume and lengthening mascara is always my best friend and i got it in the color 310 blackest black that is this right here the next makeup product that i got was also from l'oreal a liner intense felt tip liquid eyeliner it is in the color 610 black mica haven't tried this one before. The reason I got it was because the packaging is fabulous and it looks very luxurious. I know that does not mean the product is going to be the greatest, but just like the way this look, it looks so sleek and sexy and it's gold and that is the tip. Let's swatch it on my hand. Oops. Color is black mica. You know, I'm I am not the best at lining my eyes with liquid liner. I tend to use gel liner because I feel like having an angle brush gives me excuse me gives me more control of what I'm doing and where I put the liner. So we're gonna be playing with this, trying it out, you know, but I love the way this is. It feels almost like a pen and it is, that line is almost dry. See right there again, it is very pigmented, very black. Just like I like it, loves a dark, dark, sexy liner. Um, 
The next thing that I got is also from L'Oreal. The L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base. It's a face primer. Um, it says use, use on any foundation. Um, when I first started wearing makeup in high school, I used a primer very similar to this from Maybelline. I thought it was the bomb. And the reason I like these primers is because I have large pores, especially here. And here I have very large pores. So if I can get something that fills those babies up and just eliminates the texture on my skin, whether it is high end or drugstore, I am for it. I've been looking for something that would fill my pores for a while. I have a couple high-end or mid-end primers that get the job done, but I just want something that's just going to make my skin just be like flawless. And as you can see, how thick this is, it's just going to fill those pores in and it's so smooth and it feels wonderful it's very silicone feeling you know typical primer feeling but it is the face primer per magic perfecting base so I mean it just has like a slick um the next thing I got was uh lip balm it is from dr bronner's it's the peppermint organic lip balm and it soothes and protects here's this one right here um i love anything peppermint um i love the smell usually i have peppermint essential oils going in almost every room of the house so love peppermint um this will be my first time trying this out Mmm, it smells so good. So, I'll let you guys know how it feels on the lips. I didn't have a lippy on. I would try it out right now. But yeah, that is my lip balm. The next thing I got was an Artisan Color Baked brush, Blush from Black Radiance. It is in a beautiful berry color. The color is warm berry. <laughs> Let's take this out. I'm having a difficult time with this packaging. Let's open that up. Look at that beautiful cranberry color. Let's swatch it. Oh yes, that is a beautiful blush. Color is gonna leave you with a little flushness. You can also use that on your lid as a shadow as well. Um, I love Black Radiance um, baked blushes. This will be my first time with the warm berry color, but I think it's a great addition to my collection. Um, I also got the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. Um, not sure if this is going to be my color. Um, the Ordinary Place was online. The reason that I got this, I love concealers. Um, and I was just looking for a less expensive concealer. Right now, the concealers that I have are at least $20. So I was looking for one that I could maybe use for every day going into the office so that I'm not using my more expensive ones as often. But this is in, this is light to medium neutral. I probably should have got medium to dark, 
no true but okay this is different it has a brush on it instead of the dofla applicator but uh this is the l'oreal true match and it's um let's compare this to We'll compare it to Fenty 330, just the concealer that I use a lot for when I highlighting. And the Tarte Shape Tape, which I am tan deep fan that I use in that one. This is the L'Oreal, this is the Fenty, and this is the Tarte. This one is very, very pinky in the undertone, so I'm not sure how I'm going to work with that. Um, I may can use this, not necessarily to highlight, but as you can see, because I don't have foundation on today, I have dark, you know, hyperpigmentation under my eyes, so maybe that pinkiness in that can help you know to counterbalance some of that and then i would go on top with either my fenty or my shape tape um the fenty is the one i use more for a bam highlight because it is maybe like a couple shades lighter than this one and the shape tape is the one that i use for like an everyday highlight so before anybody jumps on me about the shape tape this is i've had this before shape tape was so-called canceled by the beauty industry so um because i had purchased it prior to that i am just trying to use this up hence the reason for me trying to find another um concealer to add to my collection so we'll We'll come back and let you know how this works. Not 100% sure if it's going to work for me. Um, my daughter is more, has more of a red undertone. So quite possibly it may work for her. Not 100% sure. But we will see. So that was the concealer. I also got um, two liquid lips and now that I'm looking at them they almost look like the exact same color this one is the L'Oreal Paris lip color in 444 I lead open her up This is the applicator and the color. Let's swatch her. Ooh. Really, really like that color. Very, very nice. I think that this lip color would pair great with that blush. If you want to do like a monochromatic face look. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, if you want to do like a monochromatic face look, I am liking eye lead. We also have from Black Radiance, a perfect tone matte lip cream in 5416 doll face. Let's see if we can. I love Black Radiance lip creams, but I hate trying to get into them. Okay, that one wasn't bad, but this is her in the packaging. Love Black Radiance packaging. 
It's so simple and sleek. The black and gold is phenomenal. You know, standard doe foot applicator. Okay. Okay. She's not as dark as I thought she was. I thought she was more closely to the L'Oreal color. But she's more of a pinky nude. I love nudes. I love colors too. So, um, yeah, she'll be great, you know. You know, throw a little brown chestnut colored lip liner on her and... You know, just out the door, you know, real simple, sexy, sleek, and, you know, get it going. So, those are the few makeup items that I got. Now that I'm looking at it, it's two, four, six, it's eight items. Yeah, I know I said it wasn't that many, but this Target run was mainly for some um, skincare products. I was getting along on a few items. So I picked up more to replenish those as well as I picked up um, some new things that I want to try out. You know, so we're sitting at the house, might as well take care of that skin so that once we get out of this quarantine, we'll have that glow up. Okay. So, I'm just scrapping. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. This is my first time trying this. Um, I love the Hydro Boost line. This is new, but yet boosts hydration for soft, supple skins. Effectively removes makeup and impurities, and it has hy hyaluronic acid. So that is that. Like I said, it'll be my first time trying this out. Um, usually to cleanse my face, I just use some good old Noxzema cream. But I was getting low on Noxzema, so I decided, hey, let's try out a new um, cleanser. I am in my 30s, so, so I am starting to be more concerned about the things that I put on my skin. I'm trying to make sure that I keep my skin hydrated because I want to look fabulous forever. You know? So, the next thing that I got was, it's also a new Hydro Boost product. It is the Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, it gently exfoliates while it's boosting hydration for instant soft, refreshing skin. It has hyaluronic acid. I try to exfoliate my skin at least once a week on Saturday night. That is my pamper night. Um, as a lot of you know, I am a MBA student. And so usually I take my tests um, around noonish on Saturday and to reward myself. Saturday afternoons and Saturday evenings are my relax and unwind day for me to pamper myself and just, you know, give myself a good facial, moisturize, and all those good things. And so I feel like this would be a great add to my regimen. So that's the exfoliating cleanser from Neutrogena. I do have quite a few Neutrogena products, but this is not all Neutrogena that is in here. Um, so this is a serum. This is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Serum, serum um, from Neutrogena. It says that it's new on the packaging. Um... I haven't tried it yet. This will be my first time trying it, but let's open it. But this is the packaging. Okay, Neutrogena, look at all looks. Look at all looks. I've just gotten into serums. Um and things of that nature. 
I try to put a serum on my face every night before bed after I wash away the stress of the day. So we have that serum. We also had have the Hydro Boost Gel eye cream. Um, this is my second gel eye cream. Um, since using this, it has helped especially with my under eyes are being dry from, um, I guess, using so many mattifying concealers and using the mattifying foundation and mattifying primer <laughs> and then powder. I can get dry and flaky here, but I'll get oily here, but I can get dry and flaky here. So this has helped, especially if I put this on Prior to makeup, this helps great. So, this is the Neutrogena Gel Hydro Boost Gel Cream for your eyes. And lastly, from Neutrogena, we got my Holy Grail. This is uh, moisturizer that I will continue to use until they stop producing it. It is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I love the way this makes my skin feel. Um, let's Okay, you guys, it is but it just makes the skin feel amazing and it just you know just goes into the skin skin is smooth and silky and not smooth and silky like a primer just smooth and silky and hydrated it feels like you're rubbing water on your skin. It's, and it just hydrates the face. You can, there's been plenty of days where I get up, I will just, I'll cleanse my face and I will just pop this on with a little bit of under eye concealer and that is it, throw a lippy on and that is it. I am out of the door. This has, you. Have you having that glow, that shine, that oh, you know, like you are just radiating with your natural beauty. Uh, this is a product that I have to keep. I will not run out of this unless they stop producing it. I have to have this. So, the next product that I wanted to try was... um. The L'Oreal Paris Eye Age Perfect Rosy Tone Eye Brightener. It visibly color corrects dark circles. We need this. And it is for, it says mature dull skin. My skin is not mature. It's just old enough to know right from wrong but young enough to still have a good time. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. But um, it says it's paraben-free, mineral oil-free, non-sticky, and fragrance-free. And it says re eyes recover their youthful glow. So. So this is what it looks like. Love the packaging. Very sexy. Let's open it up. It does have a scent. You know it says it does not have a scent. It does have a scent. It almost <laughs> looks like some Play-Doh. But it doesn't feel like Play-Doh. But you put it on. Let's rub it in. 
which has some glitter flakes in it. Yeah, I'm getting some glitter. Just a little bit of glitter. So it says, see visible results immediately. Eye area looks smoother, brighter, more awake. Dark circles appear diminished. In four weeks, eyes appear younger, revitalized. Overall skin tone looks healthier. Eye area looks blurred. Okay. I guess we are gonna be Snapchat filtering these eyes with L'Oreal. So we, I will come back to you after using this in I guess we'll insert some before and after pictures and we can see if it gets rid of this these babies right here. So the next thing that I got was from Pixie and it is the rose tonic. It is rose and elderflower nourish nourishing toner. I cannot talk tonight for some reason. But that is it. Um, toner that I have been using was just the Neutrogena Basic Toner. Um, and I still pretty much pretty well have that. But I just wanted to try a new toner and it's a little bit cute. And I like because it's pink and it's rose. So, I tried it. I mean, my favorite color is pink. And I mean, I love Neutrogena and all, but my Neutrogena products are blue. So if I can throw some pink in there. Oh, oh Neutrogena. This smells like rose water. It, it, it just smells. It just smells like refinement and womanhood and yeah, I'm mm, all of the above. That's what it smells like, all of the above. So if this does a great job at toning my skin and make my pores looking smaller and blemishes away and keeping the makeup cleaned off of the skin, at the end of the day and the beginning of the day i will continue to use pixie i've heard great things about um pixie products um this is my first time using this so we shall see what happens um i have another product from pixie it is the pixie for the eye collagen and peptides Toning eye patches. I'm really liking Pixie. Pixie's packaging is it's very like girly and fun and flirty. It just looks very feminine. So let's open this up. So you have this, I don't even know what this is. Let's look, we'll look on the box in a minute. And then you got eye patches. Yep. It's not really a scent or anything, but it says instantly toning and lift hydrogel patches under eye areas rejuvenate, restore, and replenish. Contains botanical collagen to help fortify and smooth skin. Peptides tone while caffeine energizes the under eye. Hydrogel patches infuse the delicate eye area with hydration. That is what it does. Um, as you can see, like I said, I'm trying to make sure my skin stays hydrated and supple and just a girl don't want no don't want no wrinkles you know and if i turn like this i have cover new ones right there i've been 
you know, we're going to see what Corona do and see what we can do to, you know, get rid of those without having to go to a dermatologist and about it and all that good stuff. We're going to see if all these hydrating products with this collagen and peptides and all the great skin infused things help this melon stay fabulous. Fabulous. And I think that is it. The last thing that I got in my Target run was a Hydra Luminous Number no. 7 Overnight Recovery Gel Cream for normal to dry skin. It's a Hydra Drench Complex. So it rehydrates the skin overnight. I don't know if you guys have seen a theme with hydration, hydration, hydration. Yes. Boo, we must hydrate the skin. Ooh, <laughs> and it's a blue. I don't know what, I don't know why. Seems like all the skincare products I got were blue, but this is it. Packaging is gorge, gorge, gorge. And so this is my nighttime cream. Smells like lotion. Looks like lotion. Yes. It looks thick, but it's very thin. And it's very silky. Very, very silky. So I like that. I really like that. So yeah, that is all that I got from my dark one. So, babes, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, go down below, hit subscribe. I'm trying to get those subscribers up. You know, we just started this YouTube game, so help a girl out. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified every time I upload had a great time sitting and chatting with you guys and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.